Hello everybody, I'm bringing you this video today of my brand new 2022 M3 competition X-Drive. I just took delivery of the vehicle a few days ago and I am blown away by everything. Especially these carbon fiber bucket seats. So before time goes on, I want to make sure I can protect my interior properly. It's the beautiful Fiona red finish and oh my god it smells so great <laughs> so these are the seats here they're full carbon fiber and full leather i want to go ahead and do something to protect these seats for as long as i can especially this part here since people are going to be sliding in and out including myself and maybe people at the dealership and most importantly the passenger seat so without further ado, we're going to jump right into the process of coating my interior with a Gion leather coat. Hope you guys enjoy this video. So today we're going to be using this product called Gion Leather Shield. It works very similar to ceramic coating, I guess, and it's specifically made for your interior. Gion is a Korean brand, pretty nice stuff. I've used them before, but I had a bad experience with wet coat. I ended up applying it in the sun. I was a noob and kind of ruined my windshield, but that was in the past, so <laughs> let's forget about it. Here it says that we're going to be applying it with the applicator pad, and like I said, very similar to ceramic coating. Directions seem pretty straightforward. You're basically going to be applying this on the leather without much prep. Just make sure the leather is clean, but this is straight from the factory, so we shouldn't have an issue. Let's take a look at the box and see what's inside. So we're going to open up. We're going to see that we have these suede applicator pads. And then we have the bottle itself, Gion Leather Shield, 50 milliliters. Should be more than enough for my interior. And lastly, we have this pad that we're going to be wrapping the suede around. So let's jump right into it and see how this goes. So one of the first things I want to discuss is gloves. Make sure you're wearing latex gloves. Any kind of ceramic coating, whatever you're using, I really wouldn't want that to get on my skin. So I'm wearing these protective gloves, just simple latex gloves. And I'm wearing a face mask. That's why my voice is kind of muffled. So if you guys don't hear me that well, I apologize. But it's best not to breathe in the fumes. We're going to start off with the applicator pad like this. I'm going to grab my bottle. I'm going to add about three drops. One, two, three. And we're going to go for the driver's side door panel. Now here isn't so much of a leather surface. So I'm not going to coat that. I'm just going to coat what's leather. So we'll start off very simply. Nice even coat. Wow, product looks great. Make sure to keep this on. Don't make my mistake. Wow. And according to the packaging, this should just dry off. You're not gonna have to wipe it or anything like that. And it'll wipe dry. So simply just apply it and allow it to wipe on its own. We're gonna need some more for that area. There we go. That's nice coverage. And the purpose of this coating in general is just to avoid your interior from getting stained, even prevents some sort of wear, and it's good to have it better to have than not to have and I actually got started on the driver's side seat sorry I'm impatient and you can see what it looks like as of right now it's drying and it looks amazing it looks like before so that's the nice part about it it's not gonna change the color of your leather I'm just a little concerned <laughs> it's looking patchy but we'll see apparently they said if there are any spots you can just wipe those off so we'll see in the next. Show. 
as usual, we're gonna do some drops. I'm probably gonna do a little bit more for these seats. They use up a lot. And make sure to set your bottle to the side so you don't step on it. We're gonna go in and we're gonna start with this bottom part. This is essential to me. I think this is gonna have the most wear and use, so I want the most coverage here. Let's just avoid the carbon fiber pieces. We don't wanna coat that for any reason. Alrighty, so I just put some more seat starting to look pretty good. You can see it's getting all spotty. That means it's drying up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the center. This is somewhere that's super important, has the most use in the car. Oh, I'm very happy BMW didn't go with discolored leather. It would look like a clown car. But some auto manufacturers, they do end up doing that. Thankfully, this Fiona red, it's really nice tone. It's not offensive and it's not too flamboyant. Pretty happy with it. Alrighty, now we're gonna get onto the passenger side door panel. Like I said, similar to the past panel, we're only gonna focus on the leather surface. I don't wanna be putting this on pleather plastic leather. You know all my friends are gonna <laughs> back on me for that. I didn't get full leather because it's gonna turn underneath red and it's just way too much red in this car. Or maybe I just can't afford it. Who knows? <laughs> We're gonna get on it. So I wanted to have a quick look at the other side. We can see that it has pretty much dried up and things are looking pretty nice. It's actually looking great. And the leather honestly looks the same as before I did this. And it's a good opportunity to come over here and kind of hit this edge of the armrest. There we go. Missed it earlier, and that's that. And we can see on the door panel, it's pretty much dried up. You can see a little bit of spotting. 
That should dry within 30 minutes. If not, we can wipe it off with the towel that's in the center. Alrighty. Now the best part, the back seat. Easiest in my opinion. Flat and even surface. Doesn't really require much. Just make sure to get all of it coated. Again, avoid the plastic. There we go. Well, it does surely eat up the product, I'll tell you that. It's incredible. guys so as a quick recap we're pretty much done it used about half the bottle pretty nice I'm gonna have room for another car then it used two of the microfiber applicator squares not bad at all this is still usable obviously and that was the leather shield so far so good I'm pretty happy with the product and we're gonna see how it dries out I'll show you in the next shot all right everybody so here is the leather after the Gion leather shield is fully dried i think it looks the same it definitely feels the same and i hope this video was informative and you guys enjoyed stay tuned for more future videos there will be many more on the m3